Young Charlotte lived on a mountainside in a wild and lonely spot. There were no dwellings for miles around except her father's cot. Twas on a many a wintry night young swains would gather there. For her father kept a social board, and she was very fair. One New Year's Eve, as the sun went down, far looked her wistful eye. When out through the frosty window pane, the merry sleighs dashed by. In a village fifteen miles away, was to be a ball that night. And though the air was piercing cold, her heart was warm and light. How brightly beamed her laughing eye, as a well-known voice she heard. And dashing up to the cottage gate, her lover's sleigh appeared. Oh, daughter dear, the mother cried, this blanket round you fold. For it is a dreadful night abroad, you'll catch your death of cold. Oh, nay, oh, nay, young Charlotte cried, she laughed like a gypsy queen. To ride in blankets muffled up, I never could be seen. My silken cloak is quiet enough, you know tis lying throughout. And there's my silken scarf to twine my head and neck about. Her bonnet and her gloves were on, she jumped into the sleigh. The lovers flew down the mountainside and over the hills away. With muffled beats so silently, five miles at length were passed, till Charles with few and shivering word, the silence broke at last. Such a dreadful night I never saw, my reins I scarce can hold. Young Charlotte faintly then replied, I am exceeding cold. He cracked his whip, he urged his steed much faster than before. And thus five other dreary mile in silence was passed o'er. Said Charles, how fast the freezing ice is gathering on my brow. Young Charlotte still more faintly said, I'm growing warmer now. Thus on the road flew the lovers fair through the blistering cold starlight, until at last the village lamps in the ballroom came inside. They reached the door, and Charles sprang out and held his hand to her. Why sit you like a monument that hath no power to stir? He called her once, he called her twice, she answered not a word. He asked her for her hand again, but still she never stirred. He took her hand in his, twas cold and hard as any stone. He tore the mantle from her face, and the cold stars o'er it shone. Then quickly to the lighted hall, her lifeless form he bore. Young Charlotte's eyes was closed for a, her voice was heard no more. And there he sat down by her side, the bitter tears did flow. He cried, my own, my charming bride, you never more shall know. He twined his arms around her neck and kissed her marble brow. And his thoughts flew back to where she said, I'm growing warmer now. They put the corpse into the sleigh and hurried it back home. And when they reached the cottage gate, oh, how the parents moaned. The parents moaned for the daughter dear, young Charles wept o'er the gloom. He wept until he died of grief, now they both lie in one tomb.